thought that this little creature would have been the focal point of one of Star Trek's most popular episodes. Not much to it. Bit of fluff, bit of fur, no eyes, nose, or mouth to speak of. A soft coo. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Rather like an ermine violin. All in all, an innocuous little creature that would, if left to its own devices, simply eat and multiply and eat and multiply, eat and multiply and eat and multiply. <laughs> Which, of course, as we all know, is the trouble with triples. Inconsistencies in the Klingon makeup over the history of Star Trek have been fascinating. <laughs> in previous episodes, the Klingons were dark and swarthy, with heavy eyebrows and so forth. In this case, it seems like Bill Campbell's wearing no makeup at all, with the exception of a goatee. With very fair skin and very normal eyebrows, it's hardly a Klingon look at all. Interesting to note that when Bill revisited the role of Koloth in a 1994 episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, he appeared as a modern Klingon, complete with the forehead ridges, the long hair, and the notoriously bad teeth, and no explanation as to why he would look so different. Maybe it's something in the Klingon water. You have to admire the performance of William Shallard as Nils Barris. His presence brings a core of reality to every scene he's in, and he gives the episode an anchor, preventing it from drifting off into total foolishness. I think it made a big difference. The Trouble with Tribbles is one of the most popular episodes we ever did. Although I have to admit, I felt a little squeamish while we were making it. I was heavily into my Spock role, and Spock, as we know, has difficulty with the concept of humor. Looking at it now, in retrospect, I totally understand the popularity of the episode. Tribbles are tough to resist. <laughs> <laughs>